Vincentian collaboration is nothing new. Its roots go back to Vincent, Louise, and our founders. If we define our Vincentian charism as a following of Christ through caring for the spiritual and material needs of those who are most poor, then collaboration has been part of our story from the very beginning. When Vincent responds to the spiritual need of the peasant of Gan in 1617, the de Gandhi family notes his effort and recognizes their responsibility to care for the spiritual needs of those on their estates. This leads to the sermon at Fulville, the first sermon of the mission, and rapidly to the gathering together of priests to serve the needs of the poor. When Vincent expresses an awareness of a sick family in his parish of Châtillon, his parishioners immediately and spontaneously respond. They cause Vincent to reflect on the possibility of meeting the needs of the most abandoned in an organized way. And so the charities come to be as a result of the collaboration between Vincent and his people. When Vincent begins to recognize the gifts in Louise and the likelihood of her ability to lead the first ladies of charity in their service, he enters into the great personal collaboration of his life. Louise directs these good women and enables their tasks to be more effective in the service of the sick and the hungry. As the corporal needs of the poor receive greater and greater attention due to the efforts of Vincent and Louise, in association with the ladies, a peasant girl, Marguerite Nazo, arrives on the scene. She wants to collaborate with this growing force for love and action. She volunteers her service in a most practical and physical manner, a way for which she was particularly well suited. Vincent and Louise take her under their wing and the care of the poor takes on a new face as the daughters of charity come to be alongside the priests of the mission and the ladies of charity. We can look to the 19th century for another example of collaboration, growing around and through our charism. As Rosalie Rondeau responds to the needs of the poor in the Mouftar area of Paris, she becomes well known to the governmental structures which have this responsibility. They recognize her understanding and contacts. And so they begin to collaborate with her in their response. When the young Frederick Ozenham wants to do something practical for expressing his Catholic faith, he and the first men of the St. Vincent de Paul Society find their way to the Daughters of Charity, seeking their particular talents for this kind of service. From the common charism emerges another collaboration, which continues to benefit the poor and around the world. The foundational collaboration among the charities, the company of the Daughters of Charity, and the congregation of the mission has led to wider and deeper connections with those evolving branches of the Vincentian family. We share a common purpose and mission, the service of the poor, and we bring a collective Vincentian intelligence to that mission. Part of esta gran familia vicenciana que este año celebra el año de la colaboración vicenciana. Pues sí, pero la colaboración no es un invento exclusivo de, de este año o algo que se quiso poner exclusivamente para este año. La colaboración es algo que viene dándose en nuestra familia desde nuestro fundador, desde Vicente de Paul. Nosotros, los vicencianos, tenemos un propósito común. Y este propósito común es el servicio a aquellas personas en situación de, de pobreza y necesidad. Entonces estamos llamados a eso y a brindar a este servicio, a aportar en este servicio lo que sería una inteligencia vicenciana colectiva, que significa poner todas nuestras fuerzas, todas nuestras herramientas juntas para poder brindar un mejor servicio a esas personas que los necesitan. Algo importante es que nada de lo que vale la pena se logra solo. Siempre tenemos que estar eh, acompañados y mucho más nosotros que nos hacemos llamar familia tenemos que estar siempre unidos. El mismo Vicente en una de sus cartas en el 1651 decía debemos de ayudarnos mutuamente, debemos soportarnos los unos a los otros buscando siempre la paz y la unión 
Primero la paz y la unión, decía él, porque este es el vino que le da fuerza y alegría a los viajeros de este camino que hemos decidido recorrer, este camino que es Jesucristo. Eso nos lo decía Vicente y debemos de tenerlo siempre presente. Como familia vicenciana, el estar unidos representa nuestra alegría, nuestra fortaleza, pero siempre con el propósito común de ayudar a aquellas personas en situación de pobreza. Colaborar es la palabra. At the heart of this collaboration is a spirituality that urges us to recognize Trinitarian community. Irmãos e irmãs, a Trindade Santa é a fonte do dinamismo da caridade missionária que impulsiona toda a família decente. Vivemos, amamos e servimos sob a inspiração da Trindade. Colaborando uns com os outros e assegurando a unidade na diversidade. Unidade em torno do essencial, que é o segmento de Jesus Cristo, evangelizador e servidor dos pobres, no caminho de São Vicente. Diversidade de ideias, de vivências, de experiências, de esforços, na missão comum de promover a dignidade e a esperança dos irmãos mais pobres, fazendo com que a colaboração entre os nossos ramos frutifique em um serviço cada vez mais fecundo, generoso e eficaz para a glória de Deus e para o bem dos irmãos. We do not work alone. We are most effective when we work together with one another and with those who are on the peripheries. I think it's not only our country, but most of countries on the east. Homeless people are not accepted to the hospitals. So most medical care they need, as we see here in, in this one, is given on the DePaul projects. Daughters of Charity, uh, the best nurses I ever seen working with the poor people. All our staff now, they say, uh, Father Vitali, if Daughters of Charity left the projects, we will close the projects because we are not able to value uh, how they serve people, how they see uh, the human dignity in every person. doesn't matter. He's drunk, he's uh, without everything, even sometimes without mental health. But they serve. They serve every day here and we are very grateful. So it's another side of solidarity when they when they heard that we need their present here and their service we wrote to the paris after we start the project in, in in odessa so the next in i think in the few months the first community of daughters arrived and from that time almost four years they are here with us working and serving daily so greetings from odessa city and ukraine please pray for ukraine amen so Collaboration demands a faith and a trust in one another, which also engenders mutual support. Uh, in Ireland, as with other countries, the Pole works to support people who are homeless or at risk of homelessness. Our work started in Dublin when our group chief executive, Mark McGreevy, came to do some work for the Society of St Vincent de Paul, advising them on systems and structures in relation to homeless services. So as a family, in the Vincentian family here in Ireland, we have our differences at times. We all do things quite differently from each other, but I think overall the glue that holds the family and the team together here lie in our shared values. Reflecting on our relationships here in Ireland, I know that we are an organisation that is different from others due to our values and our heritage. And as a result, this has enriched the organisation and it's committed us to continuing in the way of St Vincent by supporting those who need us most, but we can only do this with the help of others. Collaboration is not easy, but it is definitely possible. It absolutely requires the willingness to trust and to share, placing our gifts at the disposal of others. 
احنا في الاول خالص وقت ما بدانا كان السؤال اللي شاغل بال كل الناس بما فيهم ناس من الشبيبه كمان هو طيب واحنا هنستفيد ايه؟ ايه لازمه الموضوع؟ أه ما احنا طول عمرنا شغالين عادي. أه اجابه السؤال ده وصلنا لها كلنا مع بعض واحده واحده. أه واجابه السؤال ده كانت نتيجه لمعرفتنا ان احنا نقدر فعلا نثق في بعض واننا نقدر نفترض في الاول خالص حسن النوايا. افتراض حسن النيه هو شيء اساسي جدا بدونه ما ينفعش ان احنا ناسس اي حاجه، ما ينفعش نبني على اي حاجه لان ده واحد من الاساسات اللي بنبني عليها. كمان افتراض حسن النيه ده هو الحاجه اللي بتخلي الشخص اللي قدامي يشتغل معايا بارتياح اكتر. طبعا بثقه اكتر. وده احنا وصلنا له بعد ما ابتدينا نثبت لبعض فعلا ان الموضوع مش كلام ان المساله مساله افعال لما ابتديت اثبت ان انا كشاب عضو في في الشبيبه المريميه اقدر ان انا اكون مفيد للي حواليا بشكل مختلف واقدر اثبت لهم كمان ان هم هيكونوا مفيدين بالنسبه لي الناحيتين مهمين جدا كانوا وده وصلنا فيه لنتيجه كويسه لما بقيت الناس من فروع تانية في العيلة المنصورية اكتشفوا حاجات احنا بنعملها يقولوا لنا اه دي فكرة كويسة يمكن احنا ما عندناش الميزة دي انتوا عندكم الميزة دي من هنا ابتدت الثقة تبدأ ومن هنا ابتدى اي شغل لو كنا عملناه ما كانش هيتعمل بدون الثقة دي واذا في ده في رأيي اذا في اي حاجة ممكن تهدم التعاون فهو فقدان الثقة أول ما تفقد الثقة ما بين الناس وبعضهم وقتها مش هينفع يشتغلوا مع بعض وحتى لو اشتغلوا مع بعض هيكون الشغل كل واحد فيه واخد الجزء بتاعه وبيتكلم من الناحية بتاعته بس ومش عايز يوري اللي حواليه حتى هو بيعمل إيه أو بيشتغل بيه إزاي أو إيه الوسائل اللي بيستخدمها على العكس من ده وقت ما يكون في حسن نية وثقة وإيمان بقدرات الشخص اللي قدامي وقتها هقدر إن أنا أكون شغال معاه وأنا مرتاح وانا حاسس ان الشغل اللي انا هشتغله معاه هيقدر يوصل في يوم الايام لحاجه انا لوحدي ما كنتش اقدر اعملها بمجرد ما نثبت لنفسنا وللي حوالينا ده ساعتها بس نقدر نقول اننا على اول خطوه صحيحه في خطوات التعامل collaboration acknowledges that there is so much to do and so many issues to be addressed both locally and globally and offers the hope that we can have a real impact and make a real difference in the lives of those in poverty. A world situation of suffering and misery, as complicated, far-reaching and overwhelming like our present condition, can tempt us to powerlessness and impotence, especially when faced with the limitless needs of persons in poverty and our own limits in personal expertise, organization, dynamism, and creativity. The globalization of misery continues to succeed because the forces of greed and violence unite systemically to pursue their ends. While we are under no illusion that we can respond to each and every need, we belong to a family that is international, and we are carriers of a charism that is universal. When we bring to the table of Vincentian collaboration our five loaves and two fishes, in unreserved generosity and passionate commitment to collaborate in a systemic kind of way, when we weave together the energy and the dynamism of our unique charisms within the family, then we become a tangible, visible force of the tenderness of Christ for those who suffer. The reach of the Vincentian family is wide and deep. We are borderless because wherever and whenever any branch of the family is present, there the whole family is made present with all the possibilities this presence holds. In a world fragmented by competition, our collaboration witnesses to a communion that springs from the truth that we are richer because we have each other. And from this abundance springs hope for the people we serve 
and for us who serve. Love is inventive to infinity. It provides a fertile field for that creativity which stokes the fire of our zeal and helps us realize our dreams. Comme vous pouvez le constater par ce geste qui traduit la sagesse africaine, un doigt ne peut pas ramasser la farine. Mais pour ramasser la farine, et en quantité, il faut plusieurs doigts pour que une œuvre produise tous ses fruits. Il faut la collaboration de plusieurs mains de plusieurs intelligences, de plusieurs forces. Tirons profit de cette sagesse qui n'est qu'une traduction pâle de ce que le Christ nous dit dans l'Écriture quand il envoie ses disciples de par deux. Collaboration addresses the work for justice to which we are called. I believe us as an extension, we have a moral obligation to create a more just society. I want to show you a little bit about the projects that we work on in Haiti. So let's see collaboration in action. In our interbranch meetings, we noted that Haiti had ample natural industries and resources, amazing countryside land, and all the potential to develop. Most importantly, we know that the children in Haiti deserve to grow up in a more just and equitable society. We focus on economic development in this rural area called Seven Perdi through a fish farm. And we also focus on economic development through this rigorous 18 month poverty alleviation program that terminates in a graduation of 150 women. We work in education in two ways. First, through a canteen program that provides one hot meal a day. Most importantly, we improve the education in each school through a strategic planning and execution process, where each school determines their own fate. Collaboration demands that together we confront the expanding circle of poverty so that people can live with dignity. Mais tarde tive minhas primeiras experiências com uma família vicentina conhecendo os padres da missão e as filhas da caridade e pude ver como é grande a nossa família. Em junho do ano passado tive a oportunidade de participar em Paris do curso do programa de ações colaborativas da família vicentina. Foram dias inesquecíveis onde buscamos na fonte um novo revigoramento e entusiasmo em trabalhar para que nossos ramos da família Vicentina possam se conhecer mais e melhor. Gosto muito da expressão utilizada pelo Padre Gregory, onde ele nos diz que nossos ramos devem se conectar, trabalhando assim para alcançar uma ação mais eficaz junto aos nossos irmãos necessitados. Sabemos que temos muitos desafios, pois hoje temos várias novas formas de pobreza, mas não podemos ser diferentes, não podemos agir de outra forma a não ser nos unirmos para alcançarmos o objetivo deste trabalho, que é trabalharmos em conjunto. Gostaria de aproveitar a oportunidade para convidar a todos, nesse ano em que estamos vivendo o ano da colaboração da família Vicentina, em conjunto, como família, buscamos ações mais efetivas para melhor servir aos nossos irmãos, pois juntos em Cristo nós Vicentinos fazemos a diferença. Monsieur, goodbye. Good luck. Good luck on your assembly, guys. Well done. Ciao. Ciao.